Good evening and welcome to 16 by 9, The Bigger Picture. I'm Mary Garofalo. They are the energy savers. They keep pushing on us. You know those swirly light bulbs you see everywhere? But wait until you hear what our Alison Vushnik uncovers about these bulbs and what some say it's doing to their bodies. Imagine turning on a light bulb and only 20 minutes later, your face looks like this. Brenda Ryder says it happened to her. When I uh, looked in the mirror and saw my face, I was absolutely horrified. I didn't exactly know what had caused it or whether it could be controlled, or whether it was short term or long term. So I, I was just completely aghast. And there are others. I get dizzy, I weeping I, I can't focus it well, I, like I just computer. feel all wrong. Gonna make a lot of people sick. They all say it was these, the curly compact fluorescent light bulbs making them sick. And when they removed them... Pain went away within a couple of days. And my hands started healing immediately. You won't find curly bulbs here anymore. Jane Pentelot changed all the bulbs back to incandescent. In her basement in St. Catharines, Ontario, Jane used to craft for hours, very close to the compact fluorescent light bulbs. Then a mysterious rash started to appear. On my arms, on my neck, behind my ears, down into my chest, on my legs next. I've had all sorts of blood work done and everything comes back negative, every possibility. Skin problems, headaches, joint pain, from turning on a light, hard to imagine. So we started investigating. So exactly what do the bulbs emit? First concern, it may be what's coming off the bulbs. Ultraviolet radiation. That's right, scientists say the bulbs give off UV, like the sun does. We know this because Health Canada, they're the people who make sure the products and drugs you use are safe, told us in an email that the CFLs are not provided with a prismatic diffuser that filters ultraviolet radiation out. Therefore, there may be skin sensitivity issues, especially in people with certain skin diseases. And they're referring to people like Brenda. She suffers from lupus and is demanding the bulbs carry a warning for everyone. Consumers ought to be aware that if they have a sensitivity towards UV, these light bulbs could uh, make their condition worse. So how much UV radiation do the bulbs give off? And if they can give off UV, can they cause skin cancer? Here's the disturbing thing. No one can tell us. Health Canada, the government agency that's in charge of protecting your health, well, they're testing the bulbs. But we've tried to talk to them for 10 months, and so far they have refused to answer our questions on camera. So after 10 months of no's and not availables, we had to go all the way to London, England to get some answers. It seems their government health people are happy to talk to us, and they have real science to back what they say because they've tested the bulbs. It wasn't related to the brand or where we bought them. It was a random, uh, a random sample of them. About one in five were, were emitting unusual levels of UV light. Unusual levels. So we asked Magda Havis. She researches and tests the bulbs to explain the UV. All compact fluorescent light bulbs contain mercury and it's this mercury that's needed to produce the ultraviolet energy to cause the fluorescence to take place in the first place. And compact fluorescent light bulbs are everywhere. Part of the push to go green. We're told do your part to save the environment. And the old light bulbs, the inefficient ones like incandescents, are being banned in Canada in 2012. This doesn't have a filter on it, um, so this would emit high levels of UV um, that could damage the skin. Andrew Langford leads a UK advocacy group fighting to find out more about the potential dangers of these bulbs. We already know that it's causing things like blistering and um, skin sensitivity, but you know, time will tell as to whether or not the, the, the UV light is causing skin cancer. No warnings have been issued in Canada about UV. The British scientists also recommend these with the curly part inside a cover. They tested UV free. You can buy these bulbs in Canada as well. Good for you that you're saving energy, but I would also say don't sit right beside them until we know more. Dermatologist Dr. Cheryl Rosen says it's the same advice for children. 
they should be at a distance until we know more. I think the key point here is that we don't know the whole story yet. So what about the people who make and profit from CFLs, the manufacturers? For months, we contacted the big three, Philips General Electric, Osram Sylvania, and their Lighting Industry Association. Only Philips told us that they were investigating UV concerns. All three companies maintain their bulbs meet industry standards and are safe. But each time we asked for an on-camera interview, we were denied. Health Canada has never set rules for UV, so there are no rules being broken. If we're going to have these devices, there should be proper standards for them. So when Jane heard the warning from British scientists, it upset her. Their advice? Don't get too close to the bulbs and limit your exposure time. I'm upset, very upset that this has happened without any warning. There was no warning attached to these fluorescent bulbs. Do not work within so many feet. You know, do not use more than so many bulbs in your home. <laughs> you know, and there was nothing. People should uh, be aware of this and avoid being in close contact with them uh, for, for more than an hour. As for Brenda, she found a doctor who treated her and her skin cleared up. She knows people who suffer like her are shunned, so she started a support group. No one really advised me or even, uh, I think, particularly believed me. I had a, a strong uh, reaction from other sufferers who said that it was such a relief to know that somebody else understood and um, shared their experiences of these lights.